Thank you, Mr. President. We are on day seven of the request to release the list and the call for a special prosecutor, special investigator in the OLCC uh, effort. Uh, so I have brought along a little chart here to help us count the days. And I know that some thought it would suffice that the Department of Justice would do an investigation, but you, again, you cannot investigate yourselves. We all know that the state wholly owned Democrats at every level. And uh, again, you would not trust an investigation if it was all Republicans doing it. And the public needs to be able to trust what comes from an investigation. The first thing we need is transparency and accountability. Transparency and releasing the list of the rare alcohol list. We know there are public officials on it. We know there are legislators on it. We know uh, that there are likely others. And it's important that this list becomes public. We have people who are making decisions on the OLCC and those issues on a weekly basis here. Their budget is, uh, I think, up in committee uh, now. And it's important that we have all the information that is available and that should be public. And so again, colleagues, day seven, release the list. We are not relenting on this until we get that list. And furthermore, there needs to be a significant uh, public review and transparency as it relates to the OLCC decision on the land that they bought and where they bought. And so, colleagues, we will continue to talk about this until we get transparency and accountability. Thank you.